Hi gang, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, if you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag, it's gonna get yourself and your question featured in an upcoming show. Uh, but for the time being, I'll still write out a response to you in the comments, so at least you get your answer as soon as possible. Today, I'm answering a question from Douglaw99 about wide field of view masks. So they say, looking for a new mask with a larger field of view, preferably single lens. I'm currently diving the VX1 and the lens is starting to feel small. I'm looking at the Tusa Zensi, wondering if the Paragon S also offers a large view. Thanks, Doug. So if you're looking for the largest field of vision from your scuba mask, then frameless masks are typically the best way to go. Because they don't have that frame to hold everything together, the glass lens can actually be a bit closer to your eyes and that opens out your peripheral vision. While you can get some sense of a mask's view online by looking at pictures, the best way to really choose a mask is by visiting your local dive center so that you can try them on and compare them in person. However, looking at your choices, Zensi is spot on for a mask with a wide field of view. And I love Tusa masks for their fit and style. When I was teaching, I always used to use Tusa masks and then selling them was very easy because they tend to fit virtually any face shape. Um, and yeah, the, the Zen C really is specialized for wide field of view. Uh, whereas the Paragon, Paragon has that, um, I think it's a tri-material frame. It's got metal in the frame. So it's built more for strength and longevity. Uh, so you're gonna have a slightly smaller field of view. It's not gonna be like, <laughs> that you can't see to the sides, but you're gonna have a wider field of view with the Zen C. Um, if you like the lenses of the Paragon, then you also get the, um, the Zen C Pro, I think, which has that um, like UV cut glass. So it is nicer glass basically, uh, but I think it only comes in a couple colors compared to the standard version, which comes in quite a few. Um, but yeah, so I quite like um, frameless masks because Instead of having the silicone skirt and then the glass lens and then a plastic or metal frame that all clamps it all together, you just have the silicone which is just bonded straight onto the glass. So that often allows them to be quite light and it allows that glass lens to be closer to your eyes. And even though it's the same size, it's just because moving it half a centimeter, you're widening out that field of view much, much better. Other than Zensi, uh, the, the one mask that comes to mind is the, uh, the Atomic Aquatic, the Frameless or the Frameless 2, because that's always been rated as just one of the best field of view out there. And they have a crystal clear, uh, it's, a, it's a colorless transparent silicone skirt. So even though you can't like, you wouldn't be able to read anything, but if your buddy like swims to the side, you'd be able to see their shape and shadow. So you can still see out to the side. Otherwise you can get masks with, um, uh, they're, they're typically called like three, or they have three in the name because they have one lens at the front and then they have two extra lenses either side so that you can widen out your, um, your peripheral vision. Um, this one here, for example, is the Mars i3. Of course, it's got a three in its name. Uh, Tusa do make one or two. Uh, I used to have one, oh, Visio Triax. Again, it's got three in the name. Um, that had bubbled windows, which are okay, but I'm not a huge fan of rounded lenses on masks because they, they turn into uh, like magnifying glasses. So again, you can see what's going on, but if you spend too much time looking out those side windows, it kind of goes a bit weird, makes your eyes feel weird. Um, but yeah, I think you've already landed on like one or two of the uh, the best like field of view masks out there. The best thing would be to do is to find a your, your local Tusa dealer. If you go on pretty much any scuba diving uh, manufacturer's website, they usually have like a dealer locator somewhere on their website where you can type in your postcode or your zip code and it will show you which dive centers sell their equipment. Um, pop in there, 
you can bring your mask in and just go, oh, hey, I've got this, but I'm looking to um, sort of see if this is like vastly larger. You might not notice a huge difference, but um, yeah, because the VX1, the Apex VX1 is pretty good. Um, it's got a fairly good size uh, single lens on the front. I want to say that's like a subframe. I think they do have a, um, like a subframe inside of that. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've seen the, the VX1, uh, but it is basically a, a frameless mask or like a semi frameless. Um, but otherwise, yeah, Zensi, nice. Tusa have always made uh, really good silicone. I, I love them for their masks, their fins and their snorkels. And one nice thing is that their color ranges match throughout their entire range um, because Tusa are really good at making silicones and plastics match colorways. It's quite tricky um, when you actually boil it down to try and get two different materials to match colorways exactly. So when you're trying to match the, the plastic color on the frame of the mask to the silicone on, uh, on another piece of equipment, it's quite tricky, but Tusa do it very, very well. So their colorways continue throughout their entire ranges. Um, but yeah, they've always made really nice masks that do fit a wide range of, um, uh, of face shapes. So yeah, I, I wouldn't mind too much about the Zensi. It's gonna have a good field of view and chances are it's gonna fit. Choosing masks can be quite tricky um, because especially in this day and age, um, or at least a few years back, you don't really want to put things on your face and then put it back onto a um, uh, back onto a sharp wall for someone else to then put it on their face. Uh, so it might you might get a few like weird looks if you're doing that at the dive center, or at least ask before you try it on your face. Um, but yeah, the, the best way to find a mask, especially find a mask that fits you and suits you, is literally to just like try them on, which is why going to your local dive center is a, a great shout. And that's what I did with my first ever mask. I literally tried every mask on the wall and you just, you can compare and contrast them. You can whittle it down until you actually find the, uh, the exact one that fits you. Um, do have that conversation with your um, whoever's working at the dive center. Try not to be um, like locked into a decision because they want to push this particular mask. If it doesn't suit you, doesn't suit you. Don't be afraid to go, sorry, I, I really do have my heart set on this one. Um, but it, it is good to, uh, to try some variations out there. But yeah, typically masks with the larger field of view, they're quite often frameless unless they have a specific like side window for peripheral view. Uh, otherwise, clear skirts are quite good because even though you can't perfectly see what's going on, you won't be able to read anything off to one side. You can still see the shadow. You can still see if someone's gonna bump into you or you're gonna bump into someone. Um, but for, for clarity, you can still look forwards. Uh, if you have any scuba diving questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag, gets yourself and your question featured in an upcoming show. Uh, I do type out an answer, so you get an answer as soon as you, uh, as you write to me. It's normally like a day or two afterwards, uh, but at least you don't have to wait a week or two for a full on answer. But anyway, head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that good social media stuff if you haven't already. Thank you for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving.